Instead of looking at the world outside, let's look inside our own mind. What do you find there? Well, there's awareness and then there's a lot of thoughts. And are the thoughts the thoughts you want to think, or are they just kind of random thoughts? Are they actually destructive, painful? You want to be in charge. So tell yourself, all right, now you're not going to think about anything else but the breath. When the breath comes in, you watch it all the way in. When it goes out, you watch it all the way out. Look at how the breathing feels in the body. And if it feels good, keep that rhythm up. Or you can try other rhythms to see if there's something better. Make it longer or shorter, deeper or more shallow, heavier, lighter. Trying to find a rhythm of breathing that feels good and nourishing for the body. Because one of the reasons the mind goes out looking outside is because it's hungry. It's hungry for excitement, it's hungry for pleasure, hungry for something new. Because what it has inside is not all that satisfying. But if you learn how to make the breathing satisfying, it feels good inside, the mind is more likely to stay anchored right here. And when it's anchored right here, then it can see itself clearly. Because the mind has many levels. Like a building, there's lots of stories. On the top story we have the executive, and the executive thinks that it's in charge. But a lot of times it's in the lower levels that the decisions are actually made. And you don't see that because you're just up at the top looking out the windows. So it's time to go down inside and see what kind of decisions your mind is making. This way you get to know when you make a decision why you made it and that you made it well, given the information you had, given what you knew. You'd want to try your best to speak and act and think in the most effective way, effective in the sense of leading to true happiness. Not setting a high standard, but it's a good standard. What other kind of happiness would you want? Well, you say, I'd like a few pleasures here, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you want everything. But as the Buddha said, there are some pleasures that you have to give up in order to get make larger and more expansive pleasures possible. So look at what you have to give up and have a sense of the breath here as a friend in your pushing yourself away or leaving those kinds of happiness. Because you've got the pleasure right here, breathing in, breathing out calmly. The body feels good, it's well nourished, and the mind can stay here comfortably. Then it's a lot easier to make your choice. Which kinds of happiness do you want in life? Do you want the little short ones that turn into sorrow afterwards, or do you want something long and lasting, something that won't turn on you? The choice is yours, but you want to make this choice wisely. You want to make it the kind of choice that when you look back on you say, I'm glad I chose that rather than something else. This way you're really a friend to yourself, not only now but on into the future. So try to get some control over your thoughts. If you find your interest leaking out your eyes or your ears, trying to bring things back inside. Look at what's going on inside, because you've got a whole world in here. And it's the world that controls your experience of the world outside. So look at the place where things are really in control. Everything else will take care of itself. <laughs>